Happy New Year. 2021 is here. Merry Christmas. I'm sorry I have not been uploading. I've been trying to figure out what the fuck to say, pretty much. Um, <laughs> But I woke up this morning at my own shit feeling awesome, you know, and I'm like, why not fucking make a video? I got my shit on Do Not Disturb, so this video is going to come out clutch as fuck, okay? Because last time, bitch, I had a fucking breakdown, goddammit. Like, I just shit had a breakdown because I was trying to make a fucking video. I go to upload the video, and you can't hear no motherfucking sound because I got an incoming call. You know, just bullshit, bro. It just pissed me the fuck off. We made it to 2021. This was some tough shit. Okay. Um, please don't mind that. This was some tough shit. Um, I salute everybody who got through this. And I know, like, it's hard. People dealing with addiction is hard during the holidays. So I feel you. Um, this video, I want to talk about zodiac signs. People who know me personally knows that I'm very big on astrology. I love horoscopes, um, zodiac signs. All that shit. So, I'm going to go through each zodiac sign and just pretty much tell you my perspective, how I see each zodiac sign through my point of view, through my lenses, okay? So, Aries, we're going to start at Aries. Now, my niece... My youngest niece is an Aries. She is three years old. She is a firecracker. Um, when I was younger, I had a few Aries friends through Xbox. For me, they are leaders. They go to the beat of their own drum. They're not followers at all. You know, they really do have their own mind. Very ambitious people. Once they put their mind to something, they get it done. Like, they're going to get it done. Very hard-headed. Because if you're telling them, hey, I don't think this plan is going to work out. They're not going to listen to you. They're going to still do their plan just to try to prove you wrong. Now, Aries is very calm. They're very calm people. Which, they are a fire sign. It may seem like the opposite. You know, you they might be like hot-headed, whatever. But they're really not. Um, they're very calm people. Um, most Aries, they're pretty much in jail. You see them like in, in jail, most of them. Um, other than that, that's all I got for Aries. Um, Taurus. The bull, okay. Um, and Aries is a ram. Taurus is a bull. Taurus, my mom and my dad is a Taurus. I have a couple friends who I've ran into that are Tauruses. Very career driven people. Um, they're very right and wrong, black and white, up and down, left and right. You know what I mean? 
it's it's one or the other for them. It's right or wrong for them. They they're very you know black and white. So they don't beat around the bush. They're just very straightforward. They're straight shooters. They tell it how it is. Um most Tauruses are successful. Male Tauruses, like, kind of ain't shit. You know, they could be not shit in their career, but mostly they're not shit in relationships. Like, male Tauruses do bad when it comes down to relationships for some apparent reason. Um... They are very flip floppy. Now, like, loyalty means a lot to Taurus, but for some reason, they have a hard time realizing that they're not that loyal themselves. If you were to have a nine billion prize for Taurus for her to snitch on somebody, Taurus will snitch on you for $9 billion, okay? Sorry. Gemini. Uh, what the fuck is Gemini? Isn't that the twin? I think they're twins. Um, Gemini weird as fuck. Geminis are very weird. Um, they're very night and day. They're very up and down. Um, emotions are everywhere. One day they want to be a nail tech. The next day they want to be a fucking doctor. Then the next day they're shooting drugs in their arm. Okay, Geminis are very weird. They live very up and down lives. Okay, because they like to take risks. And that makes them go through a lot of negative shit that they really don't have to go through. Okay, they are attention seekers. And they know how to get attention. And they don't give a fuck if they look stupid either because they're going to own that they look stupid, not give a fuck, feel like the shit, and convince me that they're the shit when I know that they look tacky and that they look homely and low down. But the way that they're rocking that outfit from Rainbow, bitch, you're the shit. That's Gemini. Okay, they do a lot with a little. Okay, they are um serial like most Geminis are serial killers. I just want to throw that out there. Okay. Um wasn't Ted Bundy a Gemini? That says a lot. Um they they gravitate to their bad side. We all have a good and a bad side. They gravitate to their bad side. All right. Next is cancer. I am a cancer. A lot of people say that cancer is the cancer in their life. Uh, some cancers can be toxic. If a cancer is not in a right mindset or in the right you know, space where they want to be in their life. They can be toxic to your life. That is true. I am a Cancer July 16. This is June, July, babies. Um, Mostly July. Gemini is mostly June. So we're gonna... Anyways. Cancer. Very emotional creatures. Very sensitive we wear our heart on our sleeves and we take everything to heart. Now, when you first meet a cancer, 
Um, if we have bad vibes with you, we're not going to be all friendly at first. We're most likely going to try really hard to be rude to you. Cancers are the most nicest people you will really ever meet. Um, we're nice by a fault. If you come by a mean cancer, it's because that cancer is trying really hard to be mean. Um, we do that to protect ourselves. That's why crabs, we our sign is the crab. Um, crab meat is very sweet on the inside, but we're very fucking mean on the outside. Fuck with me. You know, that's a shell and that is a protection to protect that sweet, meaty, soft inside that we have. Okay, that's just a good metaphor I like to put it. A lot of people don't understand cancer. Cancer is very misunderstood. Um, and that's fine. Cancer is the most compassionate of the zodiac sign. That is a fact. Cancers make good counselors, caregivers, um, shit like that. Um... We can be sneaky, but it's not in for bad reasons. It's mostly because we don't want to hurt your feelings. So we can be sneaky like that. We don't want to hurt your feelings. It doesn't have anything to do with, like, trying to get away with anything. It's mostly, like, I don't want... Conflict. I don't want confrontation. It's kind of weird. Um, we do like to watch drama. We love drama. But like, you know, watching it from afar. We don't really, I don't like drama in my life. I can't handle drama. I cry for every little thing. And I think it's like the end of the world. So, that is cancer. We're moving on to Leo. My oldest niece is a self-absorbed Leo. August. What, what is Leo? Lion, king of the jungle here. King of the zodiac sign here. They think they run shit. Which is why they're a lion. They're very lioness. They um, think the world revolves around them. Leos do get more aware and less self-absorbed as they get older and realize, oh, it's not about me. Not everything is about me. So that starts to happen as they get older. Um, they're very unique, well-rounded, um, creative people. Very creative people. Um, they're very dramatic. They will drive a car in the most dramatic way. They will read a book very dramatically. Everything they do is very dramatic because they're dramatic people. Um, it's their way or the highway, okay? Everything is Leo's way. They like expensive things, okay? So you get a Leo... They like expensive things. Now, just as much as they like expensive things, they are also willing to give expensive things as well because they they just like expensive shit all in all, okay? Um, Leo babies can be cry babies and very clingy, want to cuddle all the time. Um, but that will subside as they do get older. Um, Virgo. Um, this is um, my least 
favorite. When I was younger, I loved Virgos. As I get older, I want more in life. And Virgo just didn't seem to want what, what I wanted. Virgos, the Virgos that I have experienced, very sorry as fuck. Um, they do things literally to the beat of their own drum when they feel like it, how they feel like it. Like everything is on their time. They're the slowest people in America. Um, don't rush a Virgo because they will go fucking slower. They're kind of rude on purpose. Um... They try hard to try to be antisocial, Virgo. They like to be alone. They pretend like they don't care. I'm sorry, but if you say that you don't care a thousand times, you care. Okay? Um... I think Virgo just needs to find something caring for, something about. I don't fucking know. Uh, Virgo likes to be in emotional distress. They like to be in pain. They like to feel heartbroken. They like to stay heartbroken. They like to feel heartache. Um, and then other Virgos... They like to, they're workaholics, and other Virgos don't like to work at all. All right, Libra. Um, their, their thing is the scale. That is their mascot, Libra. Um, Libras are perfect. Libras are perfect. Libra has a well-balanced scale, um, for me, Libras are well-balanced. They're perfect. They're funny. They're smart. They're attractive. They're charming people. Nice people. Non-confrontational people. In intelligent people. It pisses me off that... Um, Libras are so perfect. I don't think Libra has a bad side. But, um, I can't date a Libra, personally. Um, I can't. I have too many issues, okay? I don't want to feel like I'm ruining someone else's life. I don't. And I don't want you to fix me either, Libra. So, no, I can't do Libras. Um, Scorpio. It's quote-unquote said that Scorpio and Cancer are um, soulmates. That's false. Okay, that is false. I'll, I'll let you know as we go on who is the soulmate of Cancer. But it ain't Scorpio, okay? They have issues. Scorpio needs help ASAP. Mentally, okay? Um, they try to shrug serious things off as a joke or not that serious. Um, Scorpio tends to gravitate towards their dark side more than more than their good side. There's their mascot is the scorpion. Says a lot. Um scorpions very scorpions are very dark, right? So scorpios are very dark. Um they're they're very lost people. I feel like they don't really get their purpose in life ever i feel like they get it together one moment fall off 
get it together for 10 years, fall off, you know, like they always tend to go back to that dark side for some reason. Um, Scorpios are great. They're not great liars. Let's, let's cut that out. Scorpios cannot lie. Really, they do lie, but they can't lie. Um, they're fun people. If you want to have a great time, party with a Scorpio. Or a Sag. And uh, never fuck over a Scorpio. Or a Cancer. Those two signs will look for revenge. They will look for re revenge. Taurus will always get you back. Even just for hanging up the phone, they're tick for tack. Taurus is tick for tack. Okay. Sag, you will have a great time at a party with Sag. Sag will more than likely be the first one drunk or the first one first one snorting coke off of a stripper. That's a Sag. Okay. They're not serious at all. Carefree people. Hate commitment. Very independent. They are they're YOLO and they're OLO. That's a Sag. Okay. I personally I hate them. Hate is a very strong word. And I can't stand them, okay? Very independent people. You can't tell them what to do for shit. Um, they're horrible employees, okay? Unless it's it's the night scene. <laughs> Capricorn. Capricorn equals cancer soulmate. Capricorn is um, a boss. You go into a business and the CEO is more than likely a Capricorn. Um, Capricorns are very driven for success. Money is the motive for them. Um, their mascot is the goat. Um, Capricorn is the goat. They're very smart, especially in math. Um, they're well-rounded in all areas. Um, Capricorn makes for the perfect employee. They are... They will learn the most crummiest job from cleaning floors and baseboards to being the CEO. They will learn every level of a job and do it successfully and happy and without an issue. That's a Capricorn. Um very goal oriented they they always have a goal um they don't take no for an answer they don't give up um they're very strong people they're very family oriented same as cancer um capricorn is very picky when it comes down to picking their soulmate and they don't just open up to anyone so, I know about Capricorn. The love of my life is a Capricorn. Um, next is Aquarius. They are the water barrier. They are too laid back. Um, most Aquariuses I know are funny as fuck. I get along with Aquariuses. At first, um, they come off cold and standoffish, but they're just feeling you out. They're very observ observative or whatever. 
observant. I don't know. Very detail oriented. Um, very dominant people. Their personalities personalities are very dominant. They hate being vulnerable. They love to learn. They're smart people. They're either teachers, doctors, one of the two, whatever. Um, now, one thing I do know about Aquariuses is they do jump to conclusions a lot. They're very um, paranoid people. Um, uh, Aquarius, they, you, Aquarius might think you're talking shit about them and you're not, but they'll cut you off because they thought you were talking shit about them and they'll just fucking give you dirty looks and just instigate shit. You know, like they're not good with communication at all. Um, when it comes down to, like, confrontational situations, no. But Aquarius, um, good luck in finding love. Fuck, open up some. Pisces. Um, Pisces, I feel, in my honest opinion, Pisces is the best sign I feel like Pisces is very well-rounded. Um, they're very compassionate. They're number two compassionate to Cancer. Um, they're popular like a Leo. And they're hustlers and go-getters like Capricorns. Um, everybody loves a Pisces. Um, when it comes down to relationships, they can be toxic. But they're fun people. They are most likely the ones who put together a very extravagant event aside from Leo. Um, they are number two to throwing parties and being the life of the party. Um, they are creative people. Pisces always has a different style. They change their style numerous times in a week they have pink hair blue hair gray hair lashes no lashes pink eyes blue eyes green eyes black lipstick wearing boy clothes now they're a girly girl that's a fucking pisces for you okay most pisces are like beauticians um hail techs stylists, fashion designers. They are very stylish people, just like Leo's Capricorn. I mean, not Capricorn Cancers. We dress very comfortable, as you can tell. Um, I dress very comfortable in my videos. We stick to very safe hairstyles. You know, I always have black. I only wore colored hair once, and that was like a dark red. And I was scared to do that. But, um, I know a lot about zodiac signs. I feel like the most freakiest, I feel like people say the most freakiest are Scorpios, but Scorpios suck in bed. I'm sorry. Y'all do too much. It's just too much. I feel like Cancers are the best in bed because. And I, I honestly feel like we are because we pay attention. Like, we aim to please, you know? I just feel like we pay attention to what you like. And we could really, like, get you to do some shit if we really want to. That's how I think. I guess it just depends on the person. If you really know what you're doing. A lot of people don't know what the fuck they're doing. Damn, where did this conversation go?
But that's all of the horoscopes. This is the longest video I've, I've had. Um, this is like the first real video, really. I've just been fucking around. Trying to get used to the camera, you know. Trying to get shit out there. I really don't give a fuck about these influencers, followers. I really want to do an unpopular opinion video. And just tell you all the shit that needs to be left in 2020. But, um, this is my Zodiac sign video. Let me know how you like this video. What other topics you want me to talk about. Fuck with me and I'll fuck with you. Have a good year. Love y'all.